Hey, good morning, Doug Smith, DHS broker owner, uh, starting a five-part series on working with a builder. Uh, today is uh, day one of working with a builder and watching the Olympics last night, the uh, women's uh, freestyle. Um, I mean, the difference between first and fifth was, I mean, like the hair on your head. I mean, it was so close but because from being first to fifth. And sometimes that's what it feels like when you work with a builder. If you don't follow the the first rule, and that is that you're, you've got to sign your, your customer or your client in with the builder. So whether you're going in with your buyer or the buyer goes in without you because it could be a weekend or a holiday and the buyer's out looking uh, on their own, <clears throat> the first thing you need to tell a buyer is to sign you in or register you. And that can be done on the phone or it can be done in person. But the first words out of a buyer when they walk into a builder or talk to them, the, the first call, the initial talk, the first words coming out of a buyer's mouth needs to be, I have a realtor and I need to register them. Um, obviously, you can send them a website called builderupdate.com. Um, you can both be searching for builders. Uh, you can also Google builders in the area. Um, you can go in the MLS and do a search for homes built 2020 and newer. Uh, that's by putting 2020 and a plus sign in the MLS. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, the best way to do it is you actually set up time, you meet the buyer, uh, and you go show them. And uh, right now in this marketplace, there's just not a lot of uh, availability of homes. But again, um, the last words you ever want to say to a buyer, uh, even when you're showing them pre-owned homes, is, hey, if you go out and look at a builder, just be sure to sign me in. And they're going to ask, you, generally, the customer client is going to say, um, well, what, it, what can you do for me? And uh, number one, usually a rule of thumb is that the on-site people at a builder don't have a real estate license because it could be a conflict of interest. So they're not going to be represented. Your buyer, um, who is a customer when you first meet them, and obviously they're going to be a client when you get the buyer rep signed. Um, and again, when I meet a buyer, I give them a packet. It's got a template of the buyer rep agreement. Paragraph one says your name goes here. Uh, the packet has my resume references. My wife, my son, and myself all have our IBS in there um, because we work together. And uh, it's going to have resume, bio, um, but again, it's got the buyer rep agreement as a template. It says your name goes here in paragraph one. It's a great, it's a great non-intrusive way to introduce the buyer rep agreement to a customer and then just let them know that they're eventually going to have to sign that. It makes, it uh, makes you their advocate and that you're going to fight for them. Um, I've been thrown out of a couple walkthroughs with builders because I fight for what I think, uh, the home needs to be corrected and I always tell a builder, uh, when they're walking the house with me, like, you know, my buyer's not going to bring counterfeit money to closing. Why would we buy a counterfeit product? So you want to make sure that the home, if there's any bowed walls, uh, if there's cracks, if there's anything like that, uh, that you're going to be an advocate. And that's what you're going to explain to the buyer when you go out there. Um, a lot of times a, a, a buyer thinks they'll get a commission break and that's not true. Uh, the commission paid to a realtor is out of a separate fund, a marketing fund. And uh, at the end of the day, the only person that makes more is the on-site person. And of course, they don't have a license, so the buyer won't really be represented. Um, they'll be offered coke, uh, coke and cookies and a water bottle when they walk in. Um, but make no mistake, the only way they can be represented is to have an advocate in their corner fighting for them. So again, today's just day one of five working with a, a builder. Um, be sure that you tell your client uh, you could also teach anybody that you meet that they need to have representation. And the first way they do it is they have you signed in or registered on their first phone call or their first face to face with the builder. <clears throat> and in that way, uh, they'll have representation. Uh, tomorrow, we'll talk about uh, what we look for when we go out to a builder, uh, resale, uh, the sun, school districts, things like that. And then uh, throughout the week, we'll talk about the different meetings you have, uh, how they get financing, the client, the buyer customer that turns into a client, how they get financing, all the way up to the walkthrough and closing and funding. Y'all be safe and go get some.